and welcome back to another video. This is not a shave video, but it's a shave related video. Uh, this, as the title suggests, it's um, a dentor, shave dentor of my shaving soaps and shaving creams. Uh, and I hope you enjoy. Um, there won't be many more or any more soaps or creams coming into my den for a while. Uh, until I've knocked down a few of what I currently have. So uh, I'll pause the video now and uh, move over to where they are situated and uh, we'll start from there. See you in a second. Okay, so here we are. Um, we're on the door of my bedroom and we'll be starting with this one, which is a uh, Vanillet Soap of the Gods. This is the sample of uh, Guilty, which is a take on or a, a clone of Gucci Guilty. That's uh, the sample that uh, JCW sent me. Thanks very much again, JC. As you can see, I've bought the full tub as well, uh, which I got whilst I was in uh, Florida in August. The uh, one below that is a soap that uh, Mr. Kenny Ruberol sent me, which is a vanillae again, but um, it's the Fougere. So if the soap's not coming out clear enough, but they're, as I said, they're in the uh, in the uh, shoe come soap. Rack. It's another soap that Kenny sent me, which is a hair. This one is the classic barber. One below that is a soap that uh, I got from Blind Man Shaves. Just trying to pull that one out. Sorry if I'm wobbling about. It's a Trismegister. The old version, I think they're now called uh, Declaration Grooming. You can see it's a uh, LNL Grooming. It's a uh, Bison Tallow, Lanolin, and Botanicals, which is a take on um, uh, DR Harris Windsor. And uh, same scent as the fine L'Orange Noir. Move over to these two. This one is the Bohemian, which I got from um, Dwayne Smith. Sort of patchouli, uh, rose, etc. All the kind of hippie kind of scents. This one I got from. Uh, Greg Shavy on one of the BSTs. It's the uh, Shaven Shop Emerald Moss, which is a take on the uh, Emerald Moose soap. Two soaps here, which I got from uh, Russell, Wild West Shaven Company. That's uh, La Ramee which uh, Spencer's recently used in his pre-birthday shave. And this is the soap that was made for me. This is a six shooter. So below that is the soap I won through a Facebook giveaway, I think. It was the uh, Shave the Man, Seven Sins of Wet Shaven. That's a local gent shaving company, California Barber. And we'll move down to Stella Noir, which is another soap I got from whilst I was in Florida. It's a, an older Sterling sharp dressed man, which is a take on the uh, um, Irish, green Irish tweed. Sorry. And the next one I got is the 
Sterling Spice, which is a take on the Old Spice scent. Very nice scent. And I got that on a buy sell trade. Uh, this is one of the soaps that my in-laws got me from uh, Pasteur's whilst they're in New York. And uh, same with this one, Barristan Man Leviathan, which is the leather coffee and sandalwood. And again, the one below, Adagio. Now this one I've got Sol Solarian, I think this one's called, Barrister and Man, which is one of their, obviously, summer scents, which I've not got around to using yet. This one's Cologne Rouge, I used the uh, Splash in a previous shave, it's a Cologne, spicy Cologne kind of scent, peppery uh, scent. Move straight down to. Uh, can't really see this one. It's Baudelaire. It's a really. It's one of those Barrister Man soaps. Is you know you either love it or you hate it. I'm on below that. This one I've had quite a while. It's my first Barrister Man. It's the Black Label Lavender. Land. Lennon Len and Sheba. You can see the camera there and the reflection. How you doing? And across from that, again, I've got these two through the UK buy sell trade. It's the barber shop from uh, Barrister Man, Seville. And this one, I've got a sample of the newer version from uh, Kebby Shaves. I like the scent so much, I had a Get a tub, though this is the older version. Uh, another one I believe I got from Buy Sell Trades, Rhapsody, which I've now got the match and splash for. Thanks to uh, my in laws again. 42, which is sort of a, a fizzy lemon kind of scent. Another love or hate scent from Barrister Man's. Diamond and uh, another, I believe it's an older version. Now the formula and the uh, labels have changed. It's Rome, it's sort of an earthy, leathery kind of scent. Moving straight down, these were Piff to Me by Simon, I believe. It's uh, Black Ship Grooming. And that's the Captain's Pipe, sort of a cherry pipe tobacco scent. And this is one of my all time favourites. I've got a sample of this ages ago and uh, loved it and really wanted a uh, tub of it. That's another one from Simon, so th thanks again, Simon. Cavendish, another pipe tobacco scent. This soap was uh, made by Crown King, it's called, to be frank, my good mate who passed away a year or so ago, Rob Frank, it's a good lovely scent, uh, you can get these scent profiles there, lavender, cedar, ylang ylang, honeysuckle, Ambergris and black tea. Nice French, fresh tea scent. One below that was uh, Piff to Me by Don Navigo. That's his soap that was made by PAA. That's uh, Lavender and Bay. This one I used in the last shave, which is the Phoenix Otra, which is a floral, powdery kind of scent. And below that is Wickham's 1912. That's the cashmere. Sorry, the camera's moving about. I'm trying to 
get the soaps out with one hand and hold the camera with the other. This one's Classic 24 by Wickham's, which is a take on Aventus, Creed Aventus. This one I use as my Christmas shave, which is their frankincense. And below that was a soap that uh, was kindly given to me for my birthday, uh, 2016 I think, from Kevy Shaves. It's the Gentleman's Groom Room Limited Edition Molten Myrtle. Again this one was piffed to me by a friend on Facebook. That's the uh, St James of London, Cedarwood and Clarisage. Sorry I had a pause there, I had a cramp on my leg. Um, these ones are uh, Cold River Soapworks. This one is uh, Puro Fres Fresco. One's another cold river soap work. That's the Vetiver one. The Pura Fresco I got through uh, trade. And this one I've had from brand new. And this one is. Oops. Fougier Modern, which is a fern scent. I'm glad I don't have to move this anymore because I had to empty half of it so I could actually get it uh, get it into the bathroom. So I'm just moving again. This one's the Sapanifco Verasino. You have to buy the uh, wooden container separate. It just comes with a puck. Triple mill soap. That's the, uh, this is the box they came in, which is the uh, fern, nice sturdy cardboard box. And below that, below that, I got for Christmas with the match and splash, which is the 70th anniversary. Sent as a take on the uh, Geo, Aqua de Geo, sorry. Back in there. This one I got luckily in uh, again buy sell trade. Martin de Condre, it's the original, which is a uh, sort of a lavender herb kind of scent. Costs uh, two, three times as much as any other soap, but um, I think it's worth it. Good old Mitchell's wool fat. Again, you can either buy the, the soap on its own or with the ceramic dish. Sorry, I've got mid down again. This one I got ages ago. It's a Spring Meadow by uh, Shaver Heaven. I think that was when they first started, not soon after they first started. Hopefully, they'll be back again soon. This was gifted to me. I won't say who. It's a Ballonclaw, which you don't see a lot of their soaps. Which is a Hot Bell Rose, which is um, gunpowder and rose. This one is Finks and Bow, Baskerville. Basket was on there somewhere, I think. Right, I'm sure that was on there, never mind. And the one below that is Citra Royale. That's the scent profile there. Uh, 
is a soup commander, courage, um, respect, connection, which is woods and berry, and that's vision, which is a sort of an aqua peppermint kind of scent. Okay, so I'll pause here and then move over to my overflow of soaps. See you in a second. Okay, we're back for my overflow of uh, creams and soaps. So let's make a start. I'm using my um, light box I use for my photos for uh, Facebook and Instagram. This is a uh, St. James of London, which is a uh, black pepper and lime. Tube. Which I don't use very often. Probably use this for uh, travel, holidays. Nice interior. This one I bought on a trade. Which is Williams shaving cream. Macaroon, which uh, my wife got me with the uh, matching balm. Another little tube of Tale of Bond Street, it's Ger German, German Street, sorry, can't read. And again, a nice little travel tube. This one I got ages ago, but not really used it very often. Used it a lot in the start, when I first started uh, wet shaving. It's the, uh, the real shaving company. This is a shaving cream, step two. I think that was three or four steps. This one has a uh, beta formula, which uh, James at OSP, I gave him some scent profiles and he put them together. And uh, this one's got menthol in it, but uh, he did put it in production which he has on his website, I believe, which is Shogun, which is a sort of a lemongrass and a ginger scent. This one I got for Christmas, Castle Forbes Lime Essential Oil Shaving Cream. I've got the Matching Balm. This one I got uh, Wedding anniversary present, I think. Just the Aqua de Palma. Use that on special occasions. Three soaps here I got through one person of a trade. I traded a razor for just a sort of a load of soaps and creams. This is just something I've printed off myself and stuck on there so I know what is what. And I've got these tubs from Tesco. They are three for 150, I think. That's the shave stick of Windsor, I think, from DR Harris. And again, another shave stick. The same person to back. And it gives me this area up the top here to uh, load my brush. I believe I've got three or four shave sticks in here. Just grate them down and uh, press them in. Uh, palm olive shave sticks. This one of some Ted Baker shave soap. They've done two 
gift sets at Christmas. One with the shave soap and one with um, shave gel, I believe. But, uh, luckily my wife picked up the right one. I've got uh, three soaps from Wild West Shaving Company. This Black Sails. Here's some profile of that. This one I've still got to get round to using. This is the Outdoor. It's one of the uh, broken ones that came through the post. You can get the scent profile there too. Another one that was uh, smashed to smithereens, which is Russell's first private reserve. Which is number one. As you can see, it's all crushed. Got to find another uh, container to put that in. This is gone now. Of uh, one set we've actually gone through. It's the first cream I bought when I first started wet shaving. Table Bond Street sandalwood. This one I got whilst we were in London. My uh, mother-in-law bought the full set, shampoo, the aftershave, I believe, and uh, body wash, body spray. It's the Eaton College. It's a lemon and uh, floral kind of scent. One of my favourites. One of the old Petal Pusher fancies. That was uh, owned by uh, Fran Tao, which is now part of PAA. It's black tea. Uh, Williams mug soap, which I got four of through uh, eBay, which I've uh, not had a lot of luck with, as most other people. Manny City Soap, which is uh, another British soap artisan, Sharon Baxter. This one's the uh, Bamboo and White Grape. Nice, fresh, summery scent. I love it. A razor Rock Stallion. I've other, had other Razor Rock soaps, but uh, this is one I've actually kept. I believe I got this one when it first came out, and I prefer the, uh, the label to the newer version. Um, soapy Bath Man, this is the uh, Suds and Lather, one of the old paper labels. Sort of a um, beer scent. Razor Red, Sandalwood. Razor Green, that's uh, eucalyptus, eucalyptus and Menthol. And now some soaps that uh, Kenny gave me, which is, see that? Man Cave Soapworks, Colt 45, sort of a classic 80s kind of cologne scent, I would say. This is a soap I used that uh, my skin had a reaction with, TSC Tallow Shaven Soap. This one is called Wicked. It's one of my favourites that uh, Kenny sent me. Fuzzy Face Soaps, Tobacco and Bay Leaf. Fantastic scent. Great performer. These next few I've not got around to using yet. Le, Le Pierre Lucien, Dandy. Comes in a nice solid tin container.
Another lippy illusion. This is the coconut. A little bit of damage on the tub lid, but uh, still a nice scented soap. Look forward to using that. And uh, this one, which is from Meisner. That's M E I. That B looking letter is actually a double S German N E R. This is the Himalayan Heights. Almost a full tub there. Again, a little bit of damage on the lid, but not a problem. Look forward to using that one. So that is it then. That's all my soaps and all my creams. So that's all my soaps, shaving soaps and shaving creams. As I said, I won't be buying any for uh, quite a while now until I've gone through at least a good few of them anyway. Um, I can't see any need to keep buying soaps. It's just, it just gets out of control. You, you just don't need them. You know, if you, if you want more soaps, then obviously you're going to have to sell some of what you've got to make room for new soaps. I can't see the point of um, keep buying soaps. They just keep piling up and piling up. You're never going to get around to using them, all of them anyway. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for your likes, thanks for your comments. Any questions, leave them in the comments box below. If there's any particular soap or cream you want to see me use in the future video, then uh, please leave a comment. Uh, if you want to get in contact with me, uh, other than leaving a comment below, you can send an email to the Suffolk Shaver at googlemail.com and uh, Hope to see you soon for another show video. Cheers.